Hi everyone. I wanted to try my hand at a little bit of bullet journal mixture with um, the junk journals. So I put Choose Joy down the side here. It's just a lot of, a lot going on in here. So up here we have washi tape. I have some washi stickers. I put some footprints on there. I made this feather. I took a feather and actually covered it with some music paper and then I just cut it. So I added you can see that I added some glossy accents, um, just different elements everywhere. I did add some glossy accents here as well. We have so much going on here. I what, what started this all was I was doing a watercolor, and so I wanted a watercolor in there. I put some fingernail polish that was glitter on there, used some specimen tags, and... Um, I've got some burlap, fussy cut things. This is washi, I believe, right back there. Just a lot of things. It says feather here. It says be the footprint, take the step. That's kind of a joy original. And inside, I did the same. I was doing a watercolor, and I regret that I, when I actually glued the, the dragonfly down I did cover most of my design I intended for his little tail to be up here but you know that's okay it still looks beautiful now I want to show that the glossy accents kind of gives a lot here and a lot here to the to the page these are actually raffia is that how you say it and I watercolored and I did cover that with cheesecloth to give a 3d effect now I always use rubber cement to put down my burlap and I like to do that. A couple pieces of fabric over here. I had dyed this paper and this was like my favorite piece of paper I've ever dyed. I had a bath mat and another kind of uh, table mat and then the plane and then I had sprayed it over spray and it just kind of took. We have an Edith Holden page in there. A little washi and a stamp came from AliExpress and um, just an old book pages. Again, that's that bath mat. Here we have just different recipes. Um, this was with a mat as well, coffee dyed. I've coffee dyed all of them. This was a receipt and it was bending, so I just put a washi sticker over the top of it. And here we have a little crunch that's from parchment paper. This is a real leaf that I put down with some matte medium. And then I put, you know, the inside of old books when you tear them off. Save that stuff. This is what this is. Uh, it's absolutely just wonderful stuff to use. A little washi here. I put the earth has its music for those who will listen. And that's a quote from George uh, Centena, no? Centena, no? I don't know. These are those little rub-ons that you can get different places. And I have a little charm in here that is a bird in a bird cage. And here's a bird. This is from a different book, The Garden. It's called The Garden something, I don't remember. And I did a little ruffle, fabric ruffle. Uh, I think somebody actually sent that to me, but, and then a cheesecloth flower with a button on top, and here I just cut out, made a little pocket here. Some more washi stickers, just layering, trying to, to keep the layering going, to keep the look with the cover as well. So, more of the book pages. Now this back page, I did another watercolor here, and I used um, the fingernail polish with glitter in it. Put a couple little brads here to hold that in, make it look like it's, let me give you a close up so you can see there's a washi sticker mushroom there, and just different things. Um, I used a brad inside there, and fingernail polish again here. Now on the back, let me show a close up while I got it in my hands. Um, this is just a piece of Aunt Lydia type thread and can you see I used the glossy accents just to kind of make it look like glossy 
gloss in the sky. <laughs> Sorry. This is also watercolor. And then I had the birds. I stamped them on with a stamp. And I used a little bit of um, paper from a pattern paper down here. That's a washi sticker there. So thanks for the look. I appreciate it. And remember, your day is full of choices, so choose joy.